Hey guys, well today we're going back to Alice's house and we're taking another tour around the rest of the room. There's so much there you haven't seen yet, so we're gonna show that to you. We're gonna do some decorating talk and then we're going to see her bathroom again. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but her master bathroom is gorgeous. You're gonna love it. So stay tuned to the end of this and I hope you enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> now on this, uh, this is a, a mantle clock. I think this was someplace else in the house. Uh, oh, yeah. So I brought it up mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't wind it, but it does work. Mm -hmm. It has the papers. Mm -hmm. um, I can't actually read, you know, it's dark, um, but it, it's probably a, a, a 30 hour. Mm -hmm with the two wind-ups. Mm. So one is for the time and one is for the right. chime. And it's part. And then a lot of them, if, if they're still there, it's a reverse glass painting. Okay. So the painting's on that side. Wow. And, and this uh, is yeah. probably, I want to say, 1830, 40, wow. okay. 50. Um, it has this, you know, this uh, OG, and it's actually, veneered. Mm. You can see a little piece of veneer, mm -hmm. but again, yep. it's the veneered. I guess it's mahogany because yep. of mahogany so pretty. Mm -hmm. Now this piece over here mm -hmm. is also veneered. You can see it here. Right. So I don't know if these pieces are also veneered with the mahogany on them, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can definitely tell. Yeah. Um, veneer is very tricky to keep. Like yeah. when the temperature varies, then yeah. the veneer starts coming yeah. off. And so I yeah. just, I mean, yeah. looks what, great. What is it? Hundred, two hundred years old? I mean, it's not bad for two hundred years old, right? Right. And it's more than two hundred. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, it's good. But again, so beautiful with these, you know, brasses. Mm -hmm. I guess these are little rosettes. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. We talked about some of the coverlets. And I think we should talk about that painting on the Walmart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, do I s tell us? Okay. Let's give so, it a yeah. One of uh, Anne's viewers mm -hmm. uh, is an artist. Mm -hmm. His name is Mark mm -hmm. Lauer, and mm -hmm. he does fabulous, fabulous paintings. Truly does. And I had to have him. Yeah. And he looks so wonderful there. He does. And he does. He looks perfect there. And you he know looks... what? He, it's almost like the story. Maybe yeah. he's a relative. Uh -huh. uh, or maybe it's the owner of the, the house. Yeah. Like, you know, th this person could, it could have been the person that own the house mm -hmm. as opposed to someone else. Mm -hmm. And then another uh, person that I <laughs> met from Anne, Anne's video is Leroy, another artist. Yeah. And he sells his paintings and antiques and we kind of think alike and he was selling this. I said, I need that. I think I'm going to set up a, a, an area for tea mm -hmm. in the bedroom. Uh, and so uh, this is the Flow Blue and I had a flow blue plate, mm -hmm. and I'll tell And it's called flow blue because the color flows. I think I may have. Oh, I yes. may have showed you. Oh, and, and this is English yeah. in Staffordshire. And again, you can see where this has flowed as well. It just it it, it flow. You know, mm -hmm. it just kind of bleeds. Bleeds. <laughs> exactly. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> so I paired that with um, a spatterware uh, creamer and a little cup. Mm -hmm. So if you were, if you had company or a conducting business, this is the story behind this. And you'll notice that I just put a little uh, piece of an old rug on there to kind of protect the tape. This is actually a tilt top table. I love tilt tops. So, and it's got the beautiful feet. I think those are snake feet. It just ruined it for so me. So beautiful. <laughs> so it it flips up, and again, 
you know, they could push it into a corner when it wasn't being used. That's what I, I love about all that old furniture. A lot of it was so compact. They were so smart. Like, they didn't finish the backs of piece case pieces because you didn't see them. So don't waste time doing that. It was only if a piece was going to be in the middle of a room, which a lot of those big pieces aren't, that you would finish the back of it. Now, we finish everything. But they were just, they used their time and they were very smart about it. Now, this is also, this is a Queen Anne uh, chair. It's very short because I think uh, it was cut down, but um, it's got those Queen Anne lines, and, and I, I probably mentioned that this is sort of an outline of a bird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. But a lot of the um, mirrors and decorations and paneling kind of went hand in hand with the designers of the time. So you have like Chippendale, you have Chardon, you have Heppel White. Uh, and if you want to know more about those styles, they each have their own distinctive style. So uh, as people became more affluent, um, one of the things I did learn about the paneling, uh, it used to go all the way up, and then I think it was, I forget the designer, maybe it was Sheridan, I have it in here, but um, they started with the wainscoting wallpaper above it. Okay. So you'll see in different uh, periods, full paneling, full paneling, and then you see the wallpaper coming in with the wainscoting. Um, but again, the paneling originally was used to protect the walls because they, could, they, they were so susceptible to damage. The floors got wet, the, all the stuff got wet, so that protected the walls, and the very first paneling was just boards put on. And then they obviously became... Ray, they became more decorative as time went on. So would something in this period have had some wallpaper in here or not? I, I would say yes because I think that people that love their homes want to keep up to date with the latest style. So yes, I think you know maybe they would have had it in another room, maybe a dining room. Right. Um, I don't think they would have ripped the paneling out, mm -hmm. but the same thing with modern conveniences. If there was something that would make their work a little bit easier, why wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes we hesitate to mix different things uh, from different time periods when they very well probably would have had different things from different time periods in the same rooms. Sure. Yeah. You know, you get something that's better. Yeah. Type of thing. It makes your life easier. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I did put a cradle in because. I'm sure that there were bedrooms uh, that the child was mm -hmm. in um, yes. the room, the the bed chamber, the master bed sure. chamber. Yeah. Um, but you know, the the wealthy may have had um, nannies that watched the children too, so maybe they did have their own room at some yeah. point. But I just said, well, I'm going to do that there. And, yeah. And. That's the story with that. Very nice. So we also have, I have this isn't old, but, and it's broken, but it's a little looking glass. I just thought it's the sweet cutest thing. <laughs> I, bro I broke it. Uh, I looked at it, it broke. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a, a candle stand, one of my favorite. It's so simple, those simple, simple feet. And again, I set this up as a reading area because maybe uh, they had guests or maybe they went over here and they wanted to read. They just didn't sleep in their room. They spent time in their room. So I uh, outfitted it with a few books, some glasses, uh, chamber sticks. I think the chamber sticks are the ones with the little loops that mm. they would bring to the chamber. Right. So maybe that's how they got named chamber sticks. Yeah. Because they would carry them upstairs with them. As opposed to these candlesticks, these you wouldn't, I don't think you would carry up. These ones over here, you would just have them here and light, light candles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are just easier for, you know, you can bring, and I have, I have another one over there, chamber stick, because we're in the chamber, we're in the bed chamber. So, <laughs> chamber pot, chamber <laughs> stick. Now this is a, I think this chair is old, but I couldn't, really, uh, I couldn't be positive. 
I was told it was old, but some of the reproductions are so good. But this is a comb back Windsor. Mm. And when you look at it, it looks like a hair comb. It does. Yeah. And then he's got these little, little paw. He's beautiful. Little paw. Uh, yeah. But, you know, they name things like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It does look like a comb. But is it old, old, old? I don't, I don't really know. I just say it is. Just it looks like that, too. Yes. Oh, I yes. just want to, now, blanket chest. Mm. Um, this is a six-board blanket chest okay. because it has uh, six boards, one mm -hmm. in the front. And see how wide it is? Mm -hmm. One yeah. in the front, one in the back, one in the top. And then these are called boot jack ends. Okay. Because if you have a boot jack, a lot of them were shaped like that. Oh. And boot jack was used to put on your boots. Okay. Uh, huh. So that's why they call this is a boot jack end. And this probably had a, had a, uh, a couple of handles on it to carry it. Hmm. So they would have stored um, whatever mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. And then, remember we talked that um, some of the chests, here, come, let's go in the hallway. We talked about the mule chest. Well, this mule chest was where my bureau was. So now we gotta move it in here. And this was, this is the basic part right. of the blanket chest. Mm -hmm. They added the drawers mm -hmm. and called it, it, it became a new piece of furniture called a mule chest and they stored their mules or their shoes in it. I know okay. we talked about that when we were in the drawing room. Right. So on this, I just have odds and ends. Um, no particular rhyme or reason. Mm -hmm. This was just more purely decorative, mm -hmm. uh, which was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And then, so this piece got moved. This lovely salmon-colored cupboard was there. So then this had to go here. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> the domino effect. The domino <laughs> effect. And then I told you today, I said I had a table that was here. Right. That I finally figured out a place for it today. Today. So that's what happens when you get something new. But that makes it so much fun. Right. And people that, I mean, probably some people think I'm a little nutty. <laughs> but people that do this Mm -hmm. Don't think I'm nutty, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. but I love my home and I just love to. Uh, I'm con. It, I'll, it'll never be a done done project. Right. Who, who knows what the next one is? Right. And then obviously these beautiful Susan Dwyer murals uh, in the Rufus Porter style. He was an itinerant painter, mm -hmm. and he would go and he would live in your home, and he would decorate your walls. And again, I think they wanted to beautify their homes even way back then and bring mm -hmm. color into them mm -hmm. um, so that's what I wanted to do too I love that I know. it's so beautiful this is a little uh, seat bench mm -hmm. now I have this should actually be up higher you see the two holes over here? yeah I do okay so but I didn't want to hide my, my oh, mirror, so, so I, go I made it little. Oh, yeah. But um, these are great because you flip over the table. Mm -hmm. When you don't need it, you flip it back, mm -hmm. and then you can use it as a seat and or storage. Yes, beautiful. You know, so uh, compact. Then I just sort of set this up with, with a teddy bear, which obviously isn't period, but I just like them. Mm -hmm. um, piece of an old coverlet. Mm -hmm. um, I know people don't like to do that, but I feel that if they had a coverlet that was all moth-eaten, they would use what they could. Right. They would weave it into their rugs. Yeah. They would make rag rugs. They would hook rugs. Yeah. I made curtains from um, a piece of um, coverlet that had a lot of issues. So I think I covered most of the things in this room. Are these the curtains that you made? Yes. Oh, see, and they're beautiful. I love them. Oh, yeah. And you'll see that, you know, there's just so many patterns, but you would think that it wouldn't somehow all go, but it kind of does. Totally does. Yeah. It's like, I guess the more patterns you have, the better it is. I don't know. Well, if you're going to go with patterns, it's good to mix and match them all because so. else it looks sterile yes. and planned and, you know, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and what you did though, 
the reason this works is because you have big patterns and little patterns. Yeah. If you had all big patterns, it would be like screaming at you. Yeah, and a lot of different colors, although I would say primarily reds and blues are yes here. yes so you um, kept that going too if you keep right. the colors going but but again you have a bigger pattern on the bed and yeah. you have a smaller yeah. pattern on I the think when you decorate the bed. you want your eye to go around the room mm -hmm. and not get stuck in one place right um and it also has to do with the height of things mm -hmm. i know we said yeah. we were going to kind of talk about decorating a little bit right um and everybody has their own style and and I say, do what you do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. What I like, but people will say, well, how do you do that? What I like to do is, you know, it's sort of like a little undulating line that moves your eye yes. around the room. So it's not yeah. just stuck in one right. place. Right. You're up here. Then you, then know, you go down. It's just a natural step up. And yeah. when it's not right, I know it. Yes. It's like yes. my eye does some weird thing. I'm like, no, that can't be there. Well, yeah. It's a little bit off. Yes. You know. Yeah. So that's what I kind of like to do just to, mm -hmm. and it's kind of peaceful. Mm -hmm. Like I know this wall over here needs a little more, but I'll get to that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that I, I, the only thing I could do over here is maybe some sconces. That's mm -hmm. all I would do right. for right. there. Um, I don't think I'd put more, more pictures or prints mm -hmm. or, or more samplers. Well, and, and here's one of the things I do when I'm prim decorating. Even if you feel like, oh, maybe that's a little too small for the space, sometimes I leave it because you know what? They would have left it. And yes. it almost stops yes. your eye and you go, oh, and yeah. you notice it is. It almost, yeah. it, you do stop it. Yeah. Not like, do I, that's yeah. why I haven't put anything because right. I'm like, I'm not sure. Do I need it? I don't want to take away from that. Exactly. Yeah. You know, maybe it was, it could have been an important sure person yeah and so you wouldn't want to do no extra no with that. and the other thing i mean what's going on here is you have a lot here on the floor because you have the the um cradle and yes. that blanket thing and then the cha the chairs and the table and right. you don't want to have so much going on underneath and then so much going yeah. on on the wall yeah it's sort yeah. of a fine fine line you it want is. it's a balance it's yes. a balance you know but again, the great thing is if you have antiques and it's a little crowded, just move to someplace else. That's right. That's or right. You yeah. Rent this booth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. Tough. yeah. Now this piece, uh, I had a different place, but I felt like it needed something. I didn't want to totally hide the paneling because it is so beautiful, but it needed a little something because I. You know, this isn't to me is an ideal, but I had dark, dark, and I just so I it looked better to me with this here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because this is a big piece. It's hard to situate it. Right, right. Um, so yeah, and the the blankets over that softened up the space. Yes, I yeah. think so yeah. because I don't like to put dark, 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 dark. You know, all right. dark wood. Right. Uh, but I, I think it's broken up enough with some mm -hmm. uh, fabrics and mm -hmm. colors that. Um, Helps but, a lot. but it's just a, it's sort of a, you just experiment with it until you play with it until yeah. you like how it looks. Yes. You know? Yeah. So I thought what we do is we can go into each of the other bedrooms and um, kind of talk about some of the same things that we kind of talked about here. I, I think I kind of covered pretty much everything. You did, but I'm going to take a little walk down All to the right, bathroom take a walk. because I'm just going to show this to them, those yeah. who haven't seen it. Oh, because sure. I'm in love with your bathroom. Oh, I love it. It's a totally different look, mm -hmm. but it does have uh, the OG mirrors. Yeah. Shall I turn the light on? Sure. Light. Okay. Yep. And the uh, colanders that mm -hmm. look remind me of Punch Tin. Yes, they're beautiful. Yes. And then uh, you'll notice that my rugs don't match because. I'm in the process of making floor cloths. <laughs> <laughs> so I have one down there um, that I've made. Okay. So eventually there's going to be two more. Wonderful. But very yes. simple. Yep. Just simple. And yeah. you know what? It's like, you know, I kind of like them because you never, you brush, you brush them off. Yes. You don't have to put them in the washing machine. Right. It's so much right. easier. So I'm much. like, no wonder they had floor cloths. 
Well, yeah. You wash them off. You don't have to like take them out and launder them and feed them. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So the wall behind you too. I added a few more little things. Did she? <laughs> Oh, I had the lantern. The lantern, I, I love it. it. Yeah. And I think I moved the shoes down or yeah. something like that. So I kind of made this like a family lived here and they were mm -hmm. just hanging their clothes up. Yeah. Uh, but again, this was in the kitchen and I did something else. So I said, okay, where's that going to go? I love it. And just kind of. Yeah, have fun with it. Move oh, it around. Oh, so much it's fun. So cute. So much fun. It is. <sighs> and I love, I love the blue. Love the this blue. Is a, the blue is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Hard to find. I know. It's so. Wonderful. I love the blue. After being here, I'm gonna go home and start painting blue. <laughs> it's well, gonna I happen. Make, I want you to have more projects to do. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, you are right though. You only move things around. Once your house is perfect, you only move things around when a new piece comes exactly. in. Exactly. So I haven't been purchasing anything, so yeah. nothing is moving. Yeah. And well, the other thing is you can get your fix a decorating seasonally. Yes. Because then you can put some new things up, maybe put some old things away, but then you have a different look for a little bit. Right, right. And then you can put it all away. That's true. Yeah. And that's yeah. something we do and all And actually, the uh, before you go, mm -hmm. I know this is, doesn't have to do with bed chambers, but I can show you what I've done to my porch. Oh yes, we'll have to look at that. You just love that bathroom? I do, I love it, I love her room. And there's more to see from Alice. We've gone in two other bedrooms and we've done her porch. And so make sure you tune in to part four to see the other two bedrooms. You will not wanna miss it.